Welcome to Excel Basics. In this video, learn how to make a slicer. You will also learn how to make two slicers linked to a single pivot table. We will also talk about how to customize the look and feel of Excel slicers. And finally, I will show you how to make a cool interactive chart that talks to two slicers to show updated information. Let's jump in. You have a pivot table here that shows the sales by each of our salespersons in the awesome chocolates. And your manager just called you up to ask, oh, this is awesome, but can you tell me what these amounts look like for our Indian geography sales? So normally what we do is we take the geography, put it into the filters, and then from here I can go and select India, click OK, see the answer. But just as you prepare this report and email the file to your boss, she called up again and then says, wait a sec, I just don't want to see India alone. Would it be possible for me to see India or New Zealand or Australia? Now you're in a conundrum. Do you make three pivot tables or one? This is where Excel slicers come in. Slicer is a powerful interactive way to talk to your pivot tables, change what is presented with a simple click. Let's build a slicer. I'm going to take the geography and drop it from the pivot table and instead of putting it in the filters, right click on the geography and add it as a slicer. This will give you a box like this, but the beauty of this is it will now give you an interaction ability. You can click on any of these buttons. So to see the India sales, you just simply tap on India and to see New Zealand, click on New Zealand or Australia or Canada. So that's what a slicer is and adding them is super easy. So now you can get back to your boss and send this file to her so she can click on whatever geography that she wants and then see it. Let's understand a few more things about the slicers. To pick multiple items in the slicer, you can do a couple of things. One, you can hold down the control key and then you can select two items. So right now we are viewing Canada and UK sales in the report. Alternatively, you can also click and drag if you want to select a continuous list of items. So from Australia to India, just click and drag. To clear away the selection and then see everything, just click on that little filter clear button and it will select all the items. So your pivot table will show everything. Let's understand how to customize this slicer. Your pivot table is in this dark orange color almost like a chocolate color really. So you want to match the slicer to that. You can select the slicer, go to the slicer ribbon that only appears when you pick the slicer. And from here, you can change the color scheme. So I'm gonna go and pick the this color scheme, which kind of closely matches with what we have there. Let's say you don't really like to see these buttons in one column. Maybe you want to see them in two columns. Select the slicer and where it says columns, just change it to two columns so that you can show more buttons. This is very useful, especially if you have very little space on the screen or you want to show more items on your slicer. You can also customize the header portion of the slicer. To do that, right click on the slicer, go to slicer settings. And from here, you can customize how the header is shown. So for example, instead of geography, I can type a sentence that goes like pick a country. So now that is what my slicer heading will slay. Alternatively, you can also go here and uncheck the display header option so that there is no header, just the buttons are shown. This can be very useful in certain situations. You can put any number of slicers on a pivot table. So for example, on this pivot table, we have a slicer that is telling me which country to show. I can also add a slicer on my product. So now we have two slicers, one for country, one for product. Let's quickly change this to two columns so we can see a few more products. And from here, I can now, for example, see what is happening for India, 50% dark bites. So this is how we are selling. This creates for such a powerful interactive reporting for your data. Not only a slicer filters the pivot table, but if you were to make any charts on top of the pivot table, they get filtered as well. This is an easy and powerful way to create an interactive chart. Let's do this. We go to insert. Let's click on a column chart and we get this nice little column chart. I'm going to quickly adjust everything. And here we have a very simple interactive chart. 
I can see how much amount is coming from each of our salespersons for any combination. So for example, I can pick Australia, Canada and India and then I can pick all of our dark chocolates to see how these people are doing, what is their total amounts in that selected geography and product groups. Powerful, isn't it? Are you hungry? Do you want more slices of this awesomeness? Check out my other Excel basics video on the playlist that is linked up there. You can also check out the advanced pivot table tricks playlist that is shown on the screen. Pick your slice. Enjoy.